Doctor Who, The Wheel in Space, Episode 3. From the Lost in Time DVD, Wheel Operation Room, Silver Carrier is on the monitor. Lenoroff, Lenoroff, my nose never lets me down. Ryan, well, don't overwork it, huh? I mean, it's rather pretty. Too much exercise might damage its shape. Lenoroff, it's something happens. Don't say I didn't warn you. That's, that, that's rockets. Da- that rocket's dangerous. Ryan, nah, not for long. As soon as Jarvis gives the word, laser blast it out of existence. Power the room, power room. Jimmy spots the spray labelled quick set plastic on the shelf. He takes it, takes it to the capacitor, there, pulls the section out and sprays the stuff on before it puts it, before pushing it back. The machine slows down, he grabs, he needs to grab before he can do it to another piece of the machine. Burnett, red handed. Joey, no, let, wait, let me explain. Duncan, what do you think you're going, doing, you fool? Burnett, Oh, he's not a fool, are you? You're a saboteur. Jimmy, no, I'm not. I'm... Burnett, shut up. Duncan tries to remove the plastic with another spray. Duncan? It's no good. He wrecked it. Burnett, completely? Duncan, yeah. Burnett, watch him. Jimmy, all right. I don't... I won't give you any more... You any trouble. Duncan, too right, you won't. Burnett makes a broadcast. Burnett. Now, hear this. This is a good controller. Cohen's office. Sammy and Cohen, Cohen listen, Burnett. All men have security duty to issue themselves with sidearms at once. Easy yellow security plan to be put in effect immediately. Two of duty men security. Wheels operations room, Burnett. Section, we put the power, to, power room on a double. Ryan, easy yellow. Well, now what's the sudden panic? Lean enough. I told you, Bill, the controller were up to something. Ryan, I better look out, look out the blasters. Keep an eye on the Hercules to cluster, will you? Do you think one of the stars is mentioned as 113 about, the, about to enter the, the, the Nova state? Near enough? That's all we need. A star blowing into a thousand pieces. I told you my nose never get, lets me down. Rocket control room. Two fully grown Cybermen have detached from their spears. They get restrictions from a strange and so the creature via the monitors plan a, a monitor report Cyberman phase one complete plan a monitor Cybermats are launched Cyberman phase two complete plan a monitor you are, in, you are undetected on the rocket Cyberman phase three ready plan a monitor report again of the phase five quarter voice all sections easy they are alert Cohen, you better check your theory for Zoe. So, oh, all right, all right. Hercules 208 in Messia 13 is definitely on the blink. I tell you that it's a radiation effect will be on Earth. I tell you, I can tell, tell you what the radiation effect will be on Earth, if you like. Cohen, not now. Zoe, I suppose you're going to see the, going to see the fun, whatever it is. Cohen, somehow, I don't think this is fun. Power room. Two guards are holding Jamie and Duncan checks the precipitator. Duncan, yeah, I see. Burnett, well? Duncan, yeah. Burnett, well? Duncan, we're gonna, you, you've done a good boy, job boy. Burnett, what's the exact damage? Duncan, serious, sir. All the primary relay contracts are fused out. This whole unit has been, I have to be stripped down. But how long? Burgan, but it depends on how much plastic we used. And how far down, down it went. Duncan, how long? Burnett, how long? Duncan, honestly, don't know, Chief. Burnett, well, surely you can give me some idea. Without the laser beams, we're virtually helpless. Duncan, all right. Well, let's just show soon or worse. Laser's absolutely finished. I mean, it's storage, co- storage, 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 part of it. A replacement could take a week. Burnett, a week? Cohen enters. Cohen. Well, that's the, what's the trouble, Jarvis? But it, this young lady is ruined the laser. Pour a quick it seals plastic in the, in the relay lines in the booster mirrors. Cohen, why? But it sabotaged Jamie. No. But why? What are you? 
one of these, those are pulled back to earth, maniacs, which, where are your friends, huh? Out there in the deep space, just waiting to come in and attack us, where they put your laser out of action. Jerry, ah, oh, you're talking rubbish. Duncan, you cannot deny anything, boy. We saw you. Jerry, I'm not denying it. Crane, is a laser really out of action, Jarvis? But it, yes, it is. Crane, so we collected a new star going over. We haven't checked the radar yet, but she's usually right. To put it, how bad? Cohen, the radiation flux was swinging the Pegasus shower right in on us. With the laser, we could at least knock some of them, them out. Duncan, well, I better get started, Burnett. You must confirm Zoe's figures, radio computers. Come on, bring him. Duncan makes a broadcast at Dunk, Burnett, Cohen, and Jamie, and if the gu- and his guards leave, Duncan, all oh, hands the power room. Powder room, immediate and urgent. All powers, power and suburban power, power room. Oh, what a mess, a cyber met enters. Duncan, well, B, hey, hey, hang on, hang on. I'm going to, going to hurt you. Well, where do you spring from? The metal, your metal, huh? You're a stranger to preacher, aren't you? Some, some form of space bug. Your foot sits behind Duncan, picks up the cyber met and puts it into a cupboard. Well, don't go well, buddy. We we better hide you, buddy. Dara bug. That, that's or oh, you think oh, gone bonkers. Two men enter. Don't go. Ah, oh, let's get started right away, shall we? Operation room. Real operation room. But it confirms only figures. Radio computers. You two and five. You don't let don't don't let yourself know what you're getting yourself letting yourself in for. Did I you? Have you ever? Been in a sky station when a meteorite hits, Jamie. Look, I'm sorry. Cohen, why did you do it? Jamie, well, they say, well, they said you were going to blow up the rocket. But it, so, Cohen, why not? Jamie, well, I couldn't. That's all. I couldn't let you, that's all. But it, why, why, Jamie? Because the doctor told me to protect it. Rest room. The doctor is sitting up against the angle bed. There's a padded silver chair in the corner and monitoring equipment ready by. Doctor, well, it's marvellous, isn't it? Doctor told me to protect it. You, know, you, gave me a re- you don't give a reason. Just leave me to let- get you out of trouble. Just leave me to get you out of trouble. Jimmy, well, what? I had to stop them destroying the rocket, didn't I? Doctor, oh, I suppose so. Jimmy, of course I did. I mean, what about the TARDIS? A fine thing. They've blown it to pieces. Doctor, that was just beginning to enjoy this little rest. Jamie, Amy, anyway, what about, what were you going to tell me then? Doctor, I don't know, Jamie. What exactly did happen on the rocket? Well, don't you look at me like that. Jamie, don't you don't remember? Doctor, it's a bit hazy. Jamie, well, I found you. Lay in the corner near the locked control room. So I think you're just shaking up the rocks and tumbling me out of the bed. And well, if, if, whatever it was, must must have... Made you stumble as well, Doctor, I suppose. I hit my head. Jamie, you honestly can't remember? Doctor, no. But it is. There, there it is. There is the... It's there in the back of the mind. Jamie, well, what about the machine then? One of, the, the one that was going to attack you. The hell... Now, surely you remember that. Doctor, machine? No, there's nothing. There's, there's something. More of some warning. Some menace. Rocket control room. Planner or monitor. Report progress. So I meant all phases proceeding as planned. Planner or monitor. Prepare phase four. Real operations room. Caselli? Yes, yes. It's all happening in Hercules cluster, okay? So I told you that the same thing happened in Pelosi's cluster a week ago. Then enough, except with a laser then. You could deflect the meteorites. Caselli. Picture there it is. The beginning of the mit. Hard grammar, grammar already. A dots on the screen, or dots on the radio screen. Radio is bigger than the process of Rico, one Rico. Caselli, it's four megatubes up. Well, I see if I can get some further information for you. Ryan, Ryan, I better give you the bad news to the controller. Then off for Leo. What are we going to do if the Bill can't repair the laser in time? Ryan, well, we've got the consolute force field. So the neutral barriers won't help us. A star on this magnitude. We go supernova. 
The effects of interest rates were a mass of 200 million tons each. Then of 200, sorry, at least, Ryan, aren't they, aren't you very wrong? Say, rarely. Right, no, it's all the, it, it, it's all the problem in the solid reality to you, isn't it? Don't you see what happens in the hit? Here, Zoe, well, of course, I'm telling you what you, what's going to happen. Ryan, just like a brother, fact, co- fact, fact calculations. None of Leo, Ryan, proper little brain child, all brain and no heart. Powder room, powder room, power room. The plastic heating unit has been removed. Duncan, gently now, gently. Keep it up, right? Good, good. Fine. Get maintenance started on that right away, will you? The trespassers live Duncan spots and the mat were covered. Duncan, hello, Billy Bug. You should have been stayed there where I oh yeah, picked up a piece of debris by, by a box called Bellarium. Duncan, hey, did you do this? He opens the cupboard again and the server mat secures goes away. Duncan, what have you done? Red Rinkin enters. Rinkin, what's the matter? Duncan, what? Oh, nothing. How's it going? Duncan, okay, Dr. Cummins taking me off communications. Duncan, good, good. Duncan, the controller told me to come and see how you're getting on, 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 on. Duncan, oh, you can tell me, tell him, we're going, make, make, uh, well, tell me making good time. Uh, hey, come on. Well, do you, you just say it for me? Duncan, yes, Do- Duncan. So, get in the spares and ask them to check them their barrier stop, will you? Duncan, Duncan, right. Duncan leaves. Duncan checks the boxes and cupboard. Duncan, well, that's a right, right. That was right, all right. Anyway, I murdered that little pest. Duncan goes to work. A laser and two cements come out from the broken box. Rest room. Cohen is using the John Smith's device to check the doctor. Cohen? You and your friend are healthy specimens, aren't you? Da-da. Oh, well, um, yeah, oh, we're fit. One way, one way or another. I suppose all this, all this mean I've got to get up. Going, no, I'm afraid that not, not just yet. Da-da. Oh, good, good. Dot, Corinne, does this your headache, doctor? Yeah, it did. But no, it's better now, Corinne. Have you lost any memory? Da-da. Yeah, well, just a little. Doctor, Corin, does that make you anxious, Doctor? I think you think my psyche, find, you'll find my psyche in very good order. Corin, probably, you only do strain to remember. Concussion can bring about temporal lapses in memory. It's quite, it's quite a lot we don't know about the memory bank yet. You know, it's good. I suppose that the part about, that you can't remember is that what, is what, is why you told Jamie to protect the rocket. Doctor, oh yes, I can, I can perfectly. We're not so intelligent, you know. Corinne, probably not. Doctor, the last thing you want to do is interfere with you. Doing here. Yeah. I'll put you in daily danger. Lies or are. Oh. Well, you saved our lives on that rocket, and we are very grateful, Corinne. But have you, but you have interfered. We're in a path of a very serious meteorite storm. The second we've been, fre- second we've been threatened. We'll wait with it in a week. Only we have this, no defence against this new one now. Do you, well, yeah, but I tell you, I didn't know about the each rights, but Cohen, I'd hope not. Do you, I didn't even know what they are. So he enters, so he's all right. The guard said you were here. Doctor, guard, Cohen, we didn't see you roam about, whatever you went to. Do you, I, and we're under arrest, Doctor. Now, how did you pilot the, how did you pilot the rocket, Doctor? Doctor, Doctor, I don't, don't think we met, have we? Come in, Zoe, Doctor. John Smith, isn't it? Jeremy, John, judging the Doctor, John. Doctor, oh, yes, yes. What do you want? What do you have? What do you have here, Zoe? Zoe, I'm a therapist. Pure mathematics major. Come in with honours. Doctor, oh, I am impressed. Come in, we, we use Zoe as our, as our second opinion. Doctor, Zoe, you didn't answer my question. Doctor, what question? Tell me, no. I'm surprised you didn't know the answer. Now, you turn and turn to me. There's something you can't, you can't work out. Zoe, how did you plot the... How did you pilot the, the, the ship? Rocket ship. You see, I calculated its original course. 
with a service and station supply station, the number five station, overdue and resumed in the last five weeks. Last five minutes ago. Well, the rocket doesn't drift at 87 million miles, of course. Doctor, so what's that, that? What's your theory? So, well, the record of last contact, the silver carrier rocket, has seen 7 million miles of touchdown. Enough fuel for 20 million. Well, I didn't, I couldn't have drifted here, of course, in the time it evolved. It must have been driven and plotted. So, on the right, Oh, on a right wee space detective. Aren't we a right wee space detective? Sorry, there's only one solution that the rocket was refueled in space, provided at least five, another five, twelve foil rods. Don't know, well, it's an interesting theory. Say, I isn't theory. You don't disapprove of the facts. Pure logic, Dr. Logic. My dear Zombie, many variables want to let be wrong with authority. Perhaps there was a fully dramatic pilot. So he to drive a rocket nearly 700 million miles of fuel for 20 million. The doctor, well, it was possibility, Zoe. The rocket was driven here somehow. I know it was. Rocket, rocket control room. On the civil carrier, things are moving along. Plan or monitor. We have our laser star. Pierre said, Major Rose on a strike at the wheel. My determined two. Mother three is a, a, a question. Paranormal monitor. The cyber mats will as consume beryllium. That beryllium Liverpool cannot detect the range rates. Cyberman. They will discover beryllium on board this rocket ship. Cyberman phase four is well ready. Is ready. Paranormal monitor. Remove turnometer control for turnometer. Cyber mats. Mission and Cyberman one. Zaps the clock face. And a third hand starts whizzing and the sound. The ton of needle maxes out, so it switches back, flip back, back, fits, and flick, or out, switches flick, and lights blink. On the way, on the wheel, the side men's eyes flash. Come his office, uh, come in. Let me get this right. Bill, you say it, the blending is, Duncan German, it's useless, all of it. Okay, what's about the reserve, Duncan? Well, yes, I checked. I had a check made of the stock, but I remembered I was holding most, most of it over in the power room. Then you know how much we rely on those petroleum rods, I mean. The only ones that stand up against the X-ray laser. Cohen is far more interested. Cohen, I'm more, far more interested in these, those creatures of yours. Don't get old, oh, there's only one of them. At least uh, that's all what I found. Cohen, did you, did anyone else see it? Duncan, no. Did you, don't, don't, Cohen, did you tell anyone else about it? Duncan, oh, you're joking. Look, they think I'm a nut anyway. I'm messing about with space flora. How do you think they're going to react to, uh, if I tell them I found a space bug? Cohen, like, just like, the, what, what's it like? Duncan, oh, it's a small fish, about as big as, about as big as, so big, made of metal or some, ten, like, tensile material. Cohen, you say? It's an eat, it, 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 it eats metal. metal. Not, not, no, not exactly. It sort of draws the life out of it. If you know corridors, you should see what it done to, to the burying stock going. But how did you do this space park get into the wheel in the first place? Go into the wheel in the first place. Duncan, you can search me. I found it. It could have gone go through one of the loading bays or one of the airlocks. Cohen, yes, I suppose that's possible. Don, what's the matter? You think I'm a nut too, don't you? Cohen, no. I want to see this creature for myself, Bill. Cohen, Duncan, all right. Come on, I'll introduce you to Billy Boy. Power room, power room. Duncan enters and sees a cybermax rooting around the barium rocks. Grabs a wrench from a shelf. Cybermax head in with the lights up. Duncan screams and drops the wrench, clutching his fist. Two more silence appear surrounding him. Duncan grabs a quick drying plastic spray and covers one of the side mats with it. His fr- its friend zapping again and he drops both hands that now useless. Scream as they move it ag- in again. Cohen and Duncan hear him. Or corridor run to help. Restroom. The screams are heard in the restroom. Jamie's only run to the door and are stopped by the guard. Flanagan, you can't come out. 
Jane, what was that scream? Flanagan, I don't know. It sounded as if all the devils in hell were hounding at someone. But it still, you still can't come out. Powder room. Duncan, powder, powder, power room. Duncan and Gowen enter to find Duncan among the remains of plants and shelving. Duncan, is he dead? Cohen, yes, I call the tunnel controller. Cohen sees a plastic covered lump on the floor. Cohen, what's that? This room, the lump is in a tray, a tray being examined by the doctor. Jamie's pulling it with plunge dud. Zoe? The commander's mounted a major inquiry. It, I am I'm much more interested in this. Doctor, this is, was found by the body, was it? Zoe, yes, I had to get one of the men to take the floor up. You just can't cut through the hammer axe. His preliminary strength is higher than Colin Steel. Doctor, the golden, golden knot won't, couldn't be untied either. Sorry, I don't know what that means. Jamie, oh, it means that there's a... Doctor, it means there's always a solution. Jamie, I... Doctor, and the bullion is a write-off, is it? Sorry, completely. We've got a few spares, but not enough. We have to get more from Earth. Doctor, and the X-ray laser gun? I mean, the main armament of the wheel relies on beryllium. Zay, but do you think there's a connection? Doctor, it's a possibility, isn't it, Jamie? What do you think? Jamie and me? Well, there can be a saboteur on board. Jarvis Bennett, did you say something about a group of people? Earth or Earth? For Earth. Something for that? Something like that? Zay, well, they, they, they are such people. They want to stop the praise program. Jamie, I, well, just supposing they planned a plunge of subterra board, waiting for the right moment, a long drift, a long drift of rocket, and we're bored, the subterra thinks it's the right moment, moment that strikes. Do I the murders? Do you well? If he was caught messing about with the Berlin and stuff, you may have had to kill. Do I well? It's an interesting theory. Jamie, it, Jamie but it fits. Do I don't, mm, I don't, I don't, it doesn't fit this. Jay, what can it, what, which we cannot, which we cannot cut inside, Jamie, ah, just a spare part of something. A dead man tried to defend himself, using a quick set, paralytic, a misfire, went over his bit of machinery. Doctor, well, we can find it. Jay, how, Doctor, with the x-ray machine? Jay, Jay, of course, one knife finger that. Jay, aye, why didn't you? So, well, I had to go on was the fact that hyperdux is unbreakable. I didn't think of x-rays. But the simple common sense works wonders sometimes, I mean. So, well, at least you at least you didn't think of x-rays. That would have been awful. Real observation room. Duncan is getting... To, uh, Addressing down. Bonnet, you're under restrict- restriction. I'll have you back on Earth, the next ship, and puts in. I've written the report of the whole affair. I want it in my hands tomorrow morning. First thing that's all, Duncan moves away. Bonnet is confined to quarters. Tanya, you have to take over some of Leo's operations. Then off. Very well, Bonnet. Now, Leo, I want the laser working as soon as possible. Get on it at once. Caselli, controller. Bonnet, is it? In a minute now, all of you, let's get back to normal working condition. Gemma, I want a word with you in my quarters, all right? Caselli, Lincoln them and Valence are ready, sir, waiting to go for go ahead. Bonnet, give it. Well, Caselli, yes, sir. Hello, travel party. You are free to embark now. We will operate via air door, past doors, emergency standbys. Bonnet, I'm entering departure hatch for oxygen. Waiting now, standing by. Cause say, yes, you see me, you standing by. For Bennett and Cohen leave. We pan over to the other side of the room. Voice, is it a Voyager standing by? Voyager station three. No, no, I'm sorry, Bill. Duncan, thought you might, your it's all my, it's my fault. I'm a fool. No, no, you shouldn't do it. You didn't do anything. Duncan, I should have told someone. I know the old man didn't believe me. There's a creature. But, but there was a creature hit there. Ryan, we did search round. Bill, your power house is a heck of a mess. There, must have, there wasn't a sign of anything, Duncan. I didn't dream it, did I? Oh, what's the use of talking? Duncan's dead. Duncan's dead. 
I'll give anything to. Oh, what's the use of taking? Duncan leaves. Then off. I thought you said you found some crude metal in the powder room. Power room. Ryan, yes, Gemma. Wanted me to keep quiet about it. So she talked to Jarvis. You know, all this extra work means we won't be spending all too much spending all too much time together. Then off. I'll find someone else to keep me company. I hate it when you don't have a sense of if you, do, if you don't have a sense of humour. Come in's office, Bennett. No, no, that's too much unexplained. Too many irrational phenomena. What's the matter with you people? Can't you turn around without someone dreaming up some odd little f- thing happening? Some bit of emotional base fantasy? Come in, calm down, Jarvis. Bennett, you, did you hear that fall, Duncan? Space runner. Bennett, the man's a wreck. Come in, Jarvis. Will you listen, Bennett? If it's sensible, yes. Come in, I like to go through the same facts. But it, all right. All right, I'm listening. Come in. One of the rockets drifts near us. Two drops in temperature. Temporary adjustment back to normal. Three drops in air pressure. Temporary adjustment back to normal. Four, but termometric storms are of above temperature dimension. Both within seven days. Five, two strangers brought to the wheel. One, the sabotage our armaments. But it, don't lump those all these things together. I thought you that you're going to be sensible. Come in. They could be connected. But it, for heaven's sake, Gemma, don't you start. What are you going to make? what are you going to do? Make trouble? Crane, we we've got we've got trouble, Jarvis. We're putting your head in the sand. you're putting your head in the sand. But all Duncan separations. Call them what you like. Are you started appearing after the rocket has appeared after the drops in air pressure? A burn and one thing vital to all offences. Bury him. Crow, just in the time we're facing a big meteorite storm. I tell you, that rocket is the basis of tr- all its trouble. Is- I tell you, that rocket is the base of all our troubles. But it, we don't. Why don't you worry about that? I've got some men to go across and look over it. But, mis- but mysterious, mysterious, please, Gemma. Not you as well. So, restroom. So the x rays are receding now. Can you turn out the light, Jamie? Ch- Zoe, the, tr- the x rays are processed now. Can you turn out the light, Jamie? Doctor, here we go. Now let's see what we've got. The image protecting the wall clearly shows what's inside the plastic. So, what's that? Doctor, it's a cyber mat. Do- Jamie, I. Doctor, the lights, Jamie. The lights are cyber mats. Jamie, that means the cyber mats must be here too. So men must be here too. Dada, yes. There's only one place they can be on that rocket. Rocket control room. Tethered together, two space workers have reached the airlock. I've gone inside. They're all, they see boxes burying. The two Cybermen enter. There's that for the Cybermen's helmet device. And become steel. So everyone, you take us to the wheel. So men too, obey inside the wheel. You will help us. You will buy.